Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Vikas Savans Academy. In this video, we are going to start daily current affairs of 8th December 2022. But before starting this session, if you have not subscribed our channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon for further notifications. So let's start with the first news. Today our first news is Guinness World Record by Nagpur Metro. So, Nagpur Metro created a Guinness World Record by constructing the longest double-decker viaduct metro, which is 3140 meters and was achieved by the Vardha Road in Nagpur. So, it made three metro stations here, that is Chhatrapati Nagar, Jayaprakash Nagar and Ujwal Nagar with special planning to meet the functional requirements of the metro with specific restrictions and double-decker double viaduct requirements. Iske baad hamari next news hai. Deji Yatra facilities jo ki Delhi, Varanasi and Bangalore airport per launch ki gai hai. So, isse launch kiya hai hamari civil aviation minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya ne so, ये जो डिजी यात्रा फैसिलिटीज है, ये फेशियल रिकॉग्निशन सिस्टम यूज़ करते हैं एट दिल्ली, बेंगलोर एंड वाराणसी एयरपोर्ट पर इन्होंने लॉन्च किया है ऑन डिसेंबर वन एट दिल्लीस इंदिरा गांधी इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट। सो डिजी यात्रा विल अलाउ डोमेस्टिक पैसेंजर्स टू सीमलेसली ट्रैवल विदाउट to biometric facial recognition technology. So, this is one time registration. Ke saath, jo DG pe one time registration, karenge, passengers will have to scan their barcoded boarding pass at the e gate. Iske baad next news hai, Airtel partnered with Meta. So, Airtel, which is a telecom major, has collaborated with Meta Platform Inc to support the growth of India's digital ecosystem and to share revenue with service providers to build networks. So under this deal, Airtel and Meta will together invest in global connectivity infrastructure and see pass based new age digital solutions to fulfill the emerging requirements of customers and to extend to Africa peers to India. So, this is two Africa here. It is the world's longest subsea cable system, which helps to provide faster internet connectivity globally. So, now move on to the next news. 2nd December ko 22nd World Computer Literacy Day observed kiya gya. So, ye observed kiya gya with the aim to highlight the importance of computer literacy. To promote technological skills, especially in children and women, and to make their work easier by the use of computers. So, World Computer Literacy Day was launched in 2001 by an Indian company called NIIT, that is National Institute of Information Technology. So, this National Institute of Information Technology was founded in 1981 by Rajendra Singh Pawar and Vijay K. Thadhan. Iske baad hamari next news hai. NDDB that is National Dairy Development Board and Amul to enhance milk production in Sri Lanka. So according to the reports from Sri Lankan President's Office, India provided technical support to Sri Lanka in order to enhance its dairy industry and milk output technical support with the aim to cash strapped countries dependence on imported milk products. So, NDDB that is National Dairy Development Board and GCMMF that is Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation Joki Amul brand ke under operate hote hai, will provide necessary technical support for the production of milk in Sri Lanka. Iske baad hamari next news hai. Exercise Sudarshan Prahar. So it has been carried out by Indian Army's Sudarshan Chakra Corps in the deserts of Rajasthan 
with the aim to focus on the synergized application of combat power, practicing new battle techniques in an integrated all arms environment. So, this Sudarshan Prahar exercise has been witnessed by the Lieutenant General A. K. Singh, Southern Command. So now move on to the next news. 65th Foundation Day celebrations of DRI that is Directorate of Revenue Intelligence is the inauguration recently kiya gaya. So two day long 65th Foundation Day celebrations of the DRI has been inaugurated by the Finance Minister that is Nirmala Sitharaman in New Delhi. So along with the current edition of Smuggling in India report, 2021 to 22 and the 8th Regional Customs Enforcement Meeting that is RCEM. As many as 22 customs administrations and Asia Pacific region along with international organization ye participate hoye the in the 65th Foundation Day celebration Isarka. Iske baad 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022 ye celebrate kiya gaya Joki Nagaland ye celebrate kata hai. So Nagaland's famous 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022 is scheduled from 1st December to 10th December 2022 at Naga Heritage Village with the aim to encourage inter-tribal interaction and to promote the cultural heritage of Nagaland. So Nagaland ki jo cultural heritage hai, ise promote karne ke liye ye Hornbill Festival celebrate kiya jata hai. So, jo hamari vice president hai, Jagdeep Dhankar, has been invited as the chief guest and Hornbin Festival of Nagaland is also known as the Festival of Festivals. In 23rd Hornbill Festival 2022, more than 130 stalls are set up, 100 stalls by the MSME, 32 temporary stalls and include activities such as music festivals, adventure sports, night carnivals, etc. Iske baad hamari next news hai. Implementation of four-tiered regulatory norms for urban cooperative banks. So, Reserve Bank of India has come out with a four-tiered regulatory framework for categorization of UCB that is urban cooperative banks and norms pertaining to the network net worth and capital adequacy of these banks. So iske liye, under the chairmanship of Sri N S Vishwanathan, RBI ne expert committee bhi banai hai and revised the regulatory framework for urban cooperative banks on July 19, 2022. So based on the size of deposits of under urban cooperative banks, the fourth year regulatory framework will be implemented with immediate effect. Is the birth Australia superstars of STEM? In on his lucky he 60 scientists, technologists, engineers, and mathematicians, including three Indian origin women that is Nilima Kadiala, Dr. Anna Baburamni, and Dr. Indrani Mukherjee. So, with the aim to smash society's gender assumptions about scientists and increase the public visibility of females and non binary people. So, every year, Science and Technology Australia, that is STA, represents more than 1,5,000 scientists and technologists to become highly visible media and public role models. So, this is Australia's superstars of STEM. This is the 1,5,000 scientists ko select. So, this is the 8th December 2022 ke current affairs. So, that's all for today. Thank you.